What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we are here talking about One UI 6.0 beta. It's going to be releasing next week. I'm recording this on Wednesday, July 12th. And we've heard from Sam Mobile, from all the different leakers, that it's going to release the third week of July. And that's looking very likely as Google just released the fourth Android beta for Pixel devices this week. So today I'm going to talk about some things we can expect, um, timeline, how you can get it, all that stuff. Before we do get into that, I want to thank my son Jonathan for giving us a dinosaur to hang out always. Today we have the Spinosaurus over here uh, on my Field Notes notebook. And for those of you guys wondering what this is, this is a fountain pen. I'm a huge fountain pen collector, so I always have one here on my desk as well. I also want to remind you guys that if you're interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. Right now they have one of their largest deals of the year, which is unlimited premium wireless at just 15 bucks a month. That's 50% off the usual unlimited price. They've got various plans to fit different needs for data sizes. They've got a five gig plan, they've got a 15 gig plan, they have a 20 gig plan and the unlimited plan. But as you can see for their current deal, all the plans are $15 a month. So you might as well go with the unlimited plan and get that 50% savings. All their plans have unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Uh, very simple to switch to Mint. You get either an eSIM or a physical SIM on their website. They also send you out a SIM tool so you can pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM and let the savings begin. I've been using them in Arizona here for about nine months. Love the service. And if you guys haven't tried them yet, go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan today. Not only are you gonna get a great deal here with their huge deal, I'll also send you a phone case of your choice just for signing up using my link as a personal thank you. Like the beautiful Arc Pulse machined aluminum case. I got a review coming on this. It may have dropped by the time this video goes up. So check that out. But any phone case you want from any manufacturer, doesn't have to be Samsung, mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up. Get in touch with me via Twitter DM or email and I'll get that free case out to you guys for trying Mint with my link. We do appreciate them for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about One UI 6.0 beta. I've made some videos over the last couple months as the leaks have come out. And of course, we know a couple things. First of all, we pretty much know it's coming next week. Like I said, today is uh, July 12th. So by July 21st, we should have it. We should have the update. And of course, I'll have tons of coverage next week as the update drops for you guys. Now, how do you get it? Well, the way you get it is by using the Samsung Members app. I talked about this in one of my previous videos. In the US, you're gonna need the unlock model or the T-Mobile model of the phone. And then you download the Samsung Members app. And when the beta releases right here on the homepage, you're gonna see a banner up here that says Samsung One UI 6.0 beta. Just like all these banners you see here, you'll see a thing where it says enroll your device. And then once you enroll your device, you'll be good to go and it will start downloading in your usual update area. So I highly recommend you do not use the beta if you're using it on your primary device, at least for the first few weeks, because it will be unstable. And uh, let me test it out. Let the other YouTubers test it out and uh, kind of get some feedback on the stability, battery life, all that stuff. Uh, before you install it. Usually a good idea to wait till like the second or even the third beta uh, before you try it out if you're an adventurous sort. Uh, I always run it on my secondary device because I have multiple devices. Anyway, what can we expect from One UI 6.0 beta? Well, there's been a couple of leaks and so I want to talk about them today. Let me go back here into Twitter and find my bookmarks. Uh, Vitrox, who I've talked about on the channel quite a bit, he does Samsung leaks. He had this tweet, which was also quoted, tweeted from another leaker, that says One UI 6.0 will use widgets on always on display and lock screen similar to iOS image for reference. So this is what it could look like. And this is a pretty big deal. This would be a pretty big change. It's something that a lot of us, including myself, asked for with One UI 5.0. And that is having full widgets on the lock screen. It's something that Android used to have a long time ago, Samsung had, and then we lost the ability. Uh, it seems like because iPhone and iOS decided to bring it back, that Samsung is now more receptive to having it. So you can have something like your Galaxy Buds Pro uh, and other devices that are connected and then see your battery levels, um, see things like noise controls on the lock screen. Of course, it opens up possibilities for lots of other widgets like your gallery, um, a lot of other interesting widgets that Samsung already has that we could then put on the lock screen. This is a mock-up of what the battery widget could look like on the lock screen for all the different devices. This was from a Chinese leaker. Um, so that's one thing that we're expecting to see. Another thing that a lot of people have said and that Vitrox also made a mock-up of 
is potentially more gradient color schemes, not only in the icons, which Samsung did with One UI 5.0, but also the color schemes and sort of the profile throughout One UI um, 6.0. We might even see that manifest itself in some of the color schemes that you're allowed to choose when theming your wallpaper using the Monet theming engine. So these are some mock-ups that he made of how the gradient could look here in some stock icons, how the gradient could look potentially in the colors for the notification shade, the music widget um, on your power screen, and then here, which would be a lock screen widget uh, for your music. So that one is a very interesting one I've seen as well. He also mocked up a full concept of One UI 6.0 here, you can see. He kind of showed some more concepts for what you kind of expect in terms of animations. He does a lot of cool stuff, and I really do hope that Samsung kind of listens to some of the things that he shows off, because a lot of them are really interesting and useful. I've showed off quite a few of them uh, on the channel before. Now, the other one that we can expect when it comes to One UI 6.0 is for Samsung to improve and continue to improve the animations. Obviously, I think this last update on the S23 Ultra, the June update, the really big one, not the July security patch, improved animation speeds a lot, but Samsung is constantly trying to refine those a lot, and I would expect to see more improvements there with the One UI 6.0 update. Um, the last thing that I'm hoping for, which I don't know if we're gonna get it, I say it every year, is I would really like to see Samsung incorporate more of the good lock modules directly into One UI 6.0, like Theme Park for applying icon packs, Keys Cafe for the extra um, ability to edit your keyboard in different ways. It'd be really nice to add some of those to the stock settings so that you don't have to download separate modules because a lot of people don't know about these modules. Um, and then if they don't watch a channel like mine or read a blog like you know one of the Samsung blogs, they would never know that they're there. So I'd really like to see that as well. So let me know if you guys are excited for One UI 6.0 beta. Of course I am. It's one of the most exciting times of the year since I do cover Samsung software and updates. Lots of coverage of that on the channel next week when it does drop. Download Samsung members if you do want to give it a try. But like I said, I'd recommend trying it on a secondary device uh, or waiting if you want to try it on your primary device. Like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you guys want to save some money on your premium wireless, go to mintmobile.com slash springer. The unlimited plan 50% off right now, just $15 a month. You can also get a free smartphone case like the beautiful Arc Pulse that I have on my S23 Ultra today directly from me as a thank you for signing up. It's also in the pinned comment description. I appreciate men for being partners with the channel. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.